Okay, so shall we start? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so the speaker of today is Yusuke Nakamura from University of Tokyo. He will talk about inversion of a junction for quotient singularities. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for kind introduction. So first, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me a chance to talk here. So today I'm going to talk about uh, inversion of a junction for quotient singularities. So the, today's main topic is uh, minimal log discrepancy. So we like it as uh, MLD. And uh, <clears throat> so MLD is a invariant singularity defined in the context of uh, minimal model program. And uh, so, so my pencil is, doesn't work. So let, let me. Yes. So maybe so. So I can't use a pencil, but maybe you can see the uh, mouse castle, right? So maybe I point to. Uh, Using my mouse. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> invisible junction in the title is state uh, so MLD of the pair XH uh, is equal to the MLD of H itself. And uh, today's our main theorem is we prove this conjecture for a variety with quotient singularity. So, I mean, X has quotient singularity and uh, H is a KLT uh, counted divisor. So I will explain the conjecture uh, later with more detail. And first, uh, let me start from a brief introduction on minimal log discrepancy. So in minimal model program, so one of the biggest uh, conjecture is uh, termination of flips. So this is still an open problem. And uh, in order to attack uh, this conjecture, uh, Shokrov uh, introduced minimal log discrepancy. And he proposed uh, ACC conjecture. So ACC stands for ascending chain condition. And uh, so Ambro proposed another conjecture, uh, lower semi-continuity conjecture. And Shokrov uh, proved these two conjectures imply a uh, conjecture of termination flips. And the importance of this implication is uh, termination flip is a global problem in nature. Uh, but he reduced this global problem to local problem uh, on the singularities about the minimal log discrepancy. And the PIA conjecture in the title is another uh, conjecture. So this is so this stands for precise version of inversion mass junction. And this conjecture is important because uh, so this might be useful for inductive argument for studying uh, minimal or discrepancy. Okay. So next, let me explain the definition of minimal or discrepancy. So now the pencil works. Okay, so in this talk, we treat a uh, log pair. So log pair means X is a normal variety. And uh, so delta is effective our device, so such that kx plus delta is our cartier. And we also treat uh, ideal version. So in this case, we assume x has hugo uh, singularity, and this a is uh, our ideal shift. So this means, so this is a formal product of the usual uh, coherent ideal, so ai, uh, with no negative uh, 
so power so ri so this is non-negative real numbers and uh, so let e be a divisor over x so this means so e is a prime divisor on x prime so x prime is a bilational model of x and in this case we can define log discrepancy so this is defined by one minus uh, coefficient of delta prime and this delta prime is a discrepancy divisor defined by uh, this equation so kx prime plus delta prime is equal to a pullback of kx plus delta and uh, so this delta prime is uniquely determined uh, if we assume the delta prime is supported on the strict transform of delta and the uh, exceptional locus of this f. And we can also define log discrepancy for ideal version. So in this case, this is one plus coefficient of uh, relative canonical divisor uh, minus uh, order of a. And then, so we can define minimal log discrepancy. So for a cross point, small x, we define MLD at x is infimum of uh, log discrepancy. And uh, so, so, so now it is taken over all divisor over x satisfying its center is equal to this cross point. And it's known that, so this is contained in non-negative real numbers or minus uh, infinite. And it's also known that if this is non-negative, then the infimum in the definition is actually uh, minimum. Okay, so, so now let me explain the statement of conjectures. So first one is ACC conjecture. So for this, we fix the dimension D and the coefficient set I. And we assume that uh, I satisfies uh, descending chain condition. So this means there's no infinite uh, decreasing sequence in this set I. Then we consider the set of all minimal log discrepancy uh, obtained from D and I. So I mean MLD of this pair, and this pair satisfies the dimension of X is D, and the coefficient of delta uh, is contained in I. And the cross point is uh, actually arbitrary. Then, so this conjecture says, so this set satisfies ACC. So this means there is no infinite uh, increasing sequence in, of minimal log discrepancy uh, obtained from uh, D and I. So this is ACC conjecture. And uh, so, so LSC conjecture is more natural. So for this, we, we fix a log pair first. Then we consider uh, the map from X to uh, non-negative real numbers uh, defined by uh, small x that maps to MLD of this pair uh, at x. So then this conjecture says, so this, this function uh, is lower semi-continuous. So this is the LSC conjecture. And the PIA conjecture says that, so MLD is preserved under uh, taking a junction. So for a fixed log pair, uh, x delta, and uh, let s be a normal Cauté divisor. Then, so we assume s is not contained in the support of delta. Then this conjecture says, so MLD of the pair uh, x and delta plus s. So this is equal to MLD of its adjunction. So I mean, uh, so s is the divisor, and the delta district to s is a uh, difference. And I also recall that uh, theorem by Shokorov. So, so ACC conjecture and lower semi-continuity conjecture imply the termination flips. So this explains the importance of uh, 
these conjectures. So I put the uh, link of my slides. Maybe you can see in the chat. So if you want to go back my slides, then please use this link. Okay. So next, let me uh, summarize the known results on these two, these three conjectures. So firstly, so ACC conjecture is known in the surface. So this is due to Alexiev and Shoklov. But in dimension three, so even in dimension three, only partial results are known. And in arbitrary dimensions, so if we fix a variety and the, the coefficient set is finite, then this is proved by Kawachita. And uh, so LSC conjecture is known in dimension three uh, by Ambro. And an important result is smooth case. So this is proved by Aimustata Yasuda. So using jet scheme theory. And uh, this result is generalized to uh, locally complete intersection uh, singularity uh, due to Ein and Mustata. And uh, as a generalization in another direction, so I proved so LSC conjecture for uh, quotient singularity. And the PIA conjecture is also known in similar settings. So it's known in dimension three and the uh, uh, smooth case and the LCI case. However, it's, it was not known for uh, quotient singularity case. So the today's main theorem is a PIA for quotient singularity. So this is one of the main theorem today. So more precisely, so X, if X is a quotient of affine space uh, by a finite group G, and we assume the action of G is free in codimension one. And uh, so A be a R ideal on X and uh, S be a KLT uh, Caltech prime divisor. So actually this KLT condition is uh, additional condition. And then as a corollary, so, so we can also prove lower semi-continuity for hyper quotient singularity. So first let me explain the proof of the second one using the first results. So let S be uh, this KLT Cartier prime divisor. Then we want to show the lower semi-continuity conjecture for this S. So we consider so MLD on S. Then the, the first result, so PIA conjecture for quotient singularity. So this MLD can be written as uh, MLD on so this X. Then, so X has quotient singularity. So lower semi-continuity conjecture is already uh, known by the, this fourth result. So using this fourth result, so we can prove uh, lower semi-continuity also for uh, hyper quotient singularity uh, by uh, PIA property. So this is a proof of the second result using the first result and the a false result on lower semi-continuity. So these are uh, today's our main theorem. And in this talk, I'm going to explain the uh, proof of the first result, I mean PIA for quotient singularity. Okay.
So the proof is a little bit technical. So let me explain the idea of proof first. So the idea is combining the result of I'm Sata Yasuda and uh, the theory of Denef and Jose. So the first ingredient is I'm Sata Yasuda's proof for PIA for smooth variety. So in their proof, uh, so they describe minimal log discrepancy on this uh, hypersurface and the CMLD on X uh, using the uh, co-dimension of cylinder in arc spaces. So they describe this MLD in terms of uh, arc spaces. And using this, this description and comparing so these two descriptions, so, so they get the proof of a PIA for smooth variety. And the point is, so this method does not work when X has a singularity. So this is a problem. And in order to solve this difficulty, so we also use the theory of Denef and Jose. So their theory on arc spaces of quotient varieties. And according to their theory, so the arc space of crossing singularity can be studied by another arc space, so W infinity for some KT variety W. And uh, so this is an important point, but so if the Y is affine space, then so W can be taken as the original affine space AN. So in, in general, so this W is not equal to Y, but in the special case, so W can be taken as the original Y. So this is a, a point. And then, so if X is crossing singularity, then this MLD can be described in terms of uh, arc space of the affine space. And uh, so, of course, this affine space is smooth. Then we can apply Einstein's uh, method, and this method actually uh, works. So this is the idea of proof. And uh, so we are going to cover the details in this talk. And first, uh, so we recall the definition and notation of jet scheme and arc spaces. So let X be a scheme over K. Then, so we denote by uh, XM. So this is the M jet scheme. So this parameterizes the uh, morphism from spectrum of KT over T M plus one to uh, X. And we denote by X infinity. So this is the arc space of X. And this parameterizes the morphism from spectrum of KT. So this is uh, formal power C is ring. And uh, uh, so we have truncation map Xm to uh, Xn. So if M is larger than or equal to N. So this is induced by uh, ring homomorphism, uh, Kt over Tn plus one to K Kt uh, T over Tn plus one. And the uh, uh, arc space is actually defined by the uh, inverse limit of uh, M's jet scheme. So, so we have canonical projection from X infinity to uh, M's jet scheme. And the cylinder is an important object in the theory of arc spaces. And the cylinder is defined as follows. So 
if C can be written by uh, pullback of some constructive subset S in the uh, M jet scheme for some M, then C is called cylinder. And a typical example is contact locus. So let A be the ideal sheaf. And uh, so we denote by cont M or cont larger than or equal to M. And uh, this is a set of arc uh, satisfying the order of A is equal to M or larger than or equal to M. And here, uh, so order is defined as follows. So, so now, so the arc means the map is morphism from KT. And the idea A is here. So we can take a pullback. And this is the idea of, of four plus series ring. So it can be written by uh, such form, e power m. And this m is nothing but the order. And we can easily see that these two satisfies the definition of cylinder. So this is an example of cylinder, actually. And we can define the codimension for cylinders. So let x be a variety and C a cylinder. And we also denote by Yaku x. This is Jacobian ID. So this is a fitting idea of uh, uh, differential modules. So this is defined locally by uh, Jacobian ID, a usual Jacobian, Jacobian ID, which defines a singular locus of uh, X. And first we define codimension for a special cylinder. So I mean, the case when uh, C is contained in a cont E, Yak X. So if E binds three, so any arc in C has a constant order of, for Jacobian ID of X. So in this case, uh, codimension C uh, is defined by uh, M plus one times uh, dimension X minus uh, dimension of so image of uh, this cylinder. And it's known that, so this definition is very defined for uh, sufficiently large uh, M. And uh, in general case, so codimension of C is defined by minimum of codimension of uh, C uh, intersection with cont E yak x. So here, so E moves. And we take a minimum for such a dimension. So this is a uh, definition of codimension. And this is, plays an important role in the theory of arc spaces. So now let me explain uh, the proof of uh, PIA conjecture for smooth variety uh, due to uh, I'm Sata Yasuda. So, so their first step is to describe uh, MLD uh, in terms of arc spaces, so using codimension of cylinders. So for simplicity, so let me assume the pair is the form of like this. So so A power gamma, so A is usual ideal and gamma is non-negative real numbers. And uh, we also assume RKX is Cartier, so we take such R. So in this case, so MLD of this pair uh, can be written by the infimum of W and L. And so the codimension of this cylinder uh, minus L over R minus gamma w. And the cylinder is so cont w a and cont l national id. 
So I will explain later and count to one MX. And this formula, uh, this formula holds even if so we replace this W by W with inequality. And let me explain the definition of uh, Nash ID. So this is defined here. <laughs> so first we have a, a map from uh, so n switch of so differential C. So n is now dimension of x. And we take a, a tensor r times. And we have a map from this, this shift to uh, Ox rkx. And we assumed rkx is Cartier. So this shift is invertible. So then the image of this map uh, can be written by some ideal uh, tensor with Ox rkx. So this is a definition of uh, natural ID, so nr, nrx. And uh, so by definition of natural ID, so if x is smooth, then so this map is isomorphism. So natural ID should be uh, trivial. And it's also known that so if X has LCI singularity, then this natural ID is equal to uh, Jacobian ID. Okay. And the key ingredient of this, the proof of this theorem is the theorem by Benef and Ruzay in 99. So which corresponds to the change of variables formula in Motivic integration. So let X prime to X be uh, proper bilational morphism. Uh, and uh, we assume X prime is smooth. And uh, let B be a cylinder in X prime. And let A be its image in X infinity. And we, we want to consider, we want to compare the codimension of B and the codimension of A, so in this theorem. And uh, for this, we need to assume, so B has a constant order for yak x prime, and uh, also yak x, and the Jacobian of, so this morphism F. Then in this case, so the difference of these two codimensions, codimension B and codimension A, uh, is equal to the order of uh, this uh, relative Jacobian. So this is a, a theorem by Benef and Rosé. And this codimension formula uh, explains why natural ideal appears in the uh, Aymustat Yasuda's uh, formula. So let me explain it. So firstly, so minimal log discrepancy is defined using discrep log discrepancy. And uh, log discrepancy so is uh, defined by relative uh, canonical divisor. So we like this diagram. So here we have kx and kx prime and discrepancy is nothing but the difference of these two shifts. And then, so we can describe this minimal discrepancy by a dimension of some cylinder in X prime. And using the theorem by Denef and Rosé, so, so we can describe uh, its codimension by a codimension of its image in X, X infinity. And as a difference, so the order of Jacobian appears. 
So now we have some discrepancy and Jacobian here. And uh, these two uh, value almost cancel out. And uh, but the remaining difference is nothing but the order of a natural ideal. So natural ideal is defined by the difference of these two shifts. So, so this is why uh, natural ideal appearing, uh, is appearing in the formula of Ainu Stata Yasuda. And as I mentioned, so if X has, so X is smooth, then so, so this part is trivial. So we can omit uh, this part. And even if X has LCI singularity, uh, natural ideal is equal to a Jacobian ideal. So this formula is much better. But in general, so natural ideal is not easy to treat. So, so this formula is not so good in practice. So this is why, so this explains why jet scheme theory uh, works so well. Uh, when X has LCI singularity. Okay, so using this formula, we want to show uh, PIA conjecture for smooth variety. So the setting is, so X is smooth and the uh, H is hypersurface of X. So, and we want to show MLD X uh, a and uh, we need to add the ideal corresponding to H. So this should be equal to MLD of the pair H and realistic to H. And we are interested in this inequality. So this is because the opposite inequality, so this is uh, a junction direction. So this is always true in general setting. So we are interested in this inequality. And uh, so by the theorem, so this MLD can be written by uh, co-dimension of some cylinder, CVW, uh, minus uh, delta W minus V. And uh, this cylinder uh, is form of cont WA and cont VH. So this corresponds to uh, these factors and the cont 1MX. And this is a cylinder in X infinity. And the corresponding uh, cylinder in H infinity is uh, this one. Uh, cont W, H listic to H, and uh, cont L, Yak H, and cont 1, MX. So now H has singularity, so we need to consider uh, the order of Jacobian ideal of H. But anyway, so uh, by theorem, using theorem again, so, th so this value is, so MLD can be estimated uh, uh, using this co-dimension. So in order to prove this uh, inequality, so it's sufficient to compare the co-dimension of these two cylinders. And actually, so I must have just proved so this inequality. So co-dimension of CBW minus V is at least co-dimension of CBW is equal to H infinity minus L. And this is sufficient for approving the desired inequality. But for proving this inequality, so we need to assume uh, this condition. So I mean, CBW intersect with H infinity uh, intersect cont L yak H is not empty. And uh, in order to uh, confirm this condition, so, so they prove the second one. I mean, so for some L, so it is not empty. So, so this second claim will be important later in our proof. So I would like to outline the proof. So firstly, this condition so is equivalent to the following condition using resolution. 
So this says for any resolution G, so some arc in this space can lift to the resolution W infinity. So I'd like to check uh, this condition. So for this, so we consider a uh, case action on the arc spaces. So this is uh, induced by a case action on spectrum of formal power series ring. And uh, so this action extends to the whole, whole K. And we can see that the cylinder CVW and the H infinity uh, is actually, uh, this is K invariant. So this is because, so CVW is a form of uh, this, this kind of things. I mean, the intersection of uh, closed uh, contact loci. Then, so each contact loci, the closed contact loci is K invariant. So their intersection is also K invariant. So we can say that, so zero times alpha uh, is also contained in, so CVW intersection H infinity. So for any alpha in here. And uh, so this says, so zero alpha is contained in a section of H zero. So, so let me explain what is a section. So firstly, I explained, so we have a canonical projection, so H infinity to H zero. And uh, H zero is of course isomorphic to H itself. And uh, so this corresponds to uh, ring homomorphism, uh, KT to quotient K, okay? And the section, uh, I mean, it corresponds to uh, inclusion K to KT. And the zero alpha can be called trivial arc because so this factors through uh, uh, this inclusion. So zero alpha, so this factors through T to step K to H. So by definition of this uh, test action. So then we can prove so such zero alpha trivial arc can lift to uh, W infinity. So, so this is because, so let's see this diagram. The point is, so, so of course the resolution, so G, this is surjective. But the induced map on arc spaces, so G infinity, this is not necessarily surjective. So this is a problem, but uh, so zero, zero alpha is a trivial arc. So it descends to uh, H, so zero alpha. So this uh, descends to here. Then this, uh, this resolution is surjective. So it's lift to W. And if we consider uh, the image of this section, then we can lift zero alpha to W infinity. So this is a proof of the second claim. Okay. Okay, so next, next let me explain the theory of Denek and Zay. So this is a, a theory on arc spaces of the quotient varieties. And the uh, original paper is motivated by uh, Akai correspondence in characteristic zero. So first, they generalize uh, theory of arc spaces to KT schemes. 
So let x be uh, scheme over kt. And uh, we denote by xm, this is m jet scheme. But in this case, so this parameterizes a kt morphism from uh, state kt over km plus one. And uh, we denote by x infinity, this is arc spaces. So this is a uh, inverse limit of m jet scheme. And uh, this parameterizes kt morphism from spectrum of formal powers is being to x. So, so if we start from usual uh, variety over k, so if we take a uh, product of uh, a1 spec kt, then so, so this x is kt variety. And in this case, so m set scheme in this set, this sense is equal to ym in usual sense. So it can be seen as a generalization of usual uh, jet scheme and arc space. And in this setting, so we can also consider cylinder and codimension. So they are defined similarly. And then and they also proved a change of variable formula for KT morphism. So this is a key two for this setting. And uh, using uh, this theory, so they developed the theory of arc space of quotient singularities. So the setting is as follows. So we consider the finite group action on the uh, linear space. And we assume the action is free in dimension one. And uh, let gamma be an element in G. And uh, so now, so G is a finite group. So each element gamma can be diagonalized as uh, C power E1 to C EN. So here, C is this primitive root of unity. And now D is uh, order of G. And we want to study the arc space of this quotient variety. And the important part is to consider the following uh, KT ring homomorphism. So this is a map from uh, G invariant ring of KT X1 to Xn to the ring of KT X1 to Xn. And the Xi maps to T power uh, EI over D times Xi. And this morphism should be KT homomorphism, so T maps to T itself. So in a priori, so the image is contained in KT fraction one over D, X1 to Xn. But we already restrict to the G invariant part, so we can see the image is actually contained in the uh, KT. And we take a, a spec and a, a arc space structure. Then we get a bar over g infinity uh, from uh, a bar infinity. And we consider uh, all gamma in the conjugacy class of G. And we take a, a disjoint union of uh, a bar infinity. Then we have a map from here to uh, here. And they proved, so this map is subjective and finite uh, outside a thin set. So thin set means a very small uh, set. And then we can apply the change of variables formula to uh, this morphism. Then, so the co-dimension of cylinder in ever uh, the quotient, uh, arc space of quotient singularity. So this can be studied by a cylinder in this space. So this is a theory of uh, Denef and Rosé. And uh, so this consideration can be extended to a uh, quotient of singular varieties. 
So here, uh, so a bar is uh, as in the previous slide. And now x bar is so g invariant uh, subspin. Then we want to study the arc space of x bar uh, over g. And considering uh, this diagram, so first arrow is defined in the previous slide. So xi maps to t power ei over d times xi. And uh, so we also consider the quotient map by ix bar. So ix bar is defining the ideal of uh, x bar. And in order to make this diagram commute, so we take a quotient by the image of this ideal by this map. Then take a uh, spectrum. Then so the action of G is, uh, action of G on T is trivial. So it uh, becomes a, a the product of the so original variety and uh, a one corresponds to the variable t. And uh, so we have three product. And we define x bar gamma uh, by a speck of uh, this thing. So this is not a product. And consider arc space. And we have the original uh, arc spaces. And, uh, and this is a uh, new one. So this is a, so for this, we need to uh, extend the uh, definition of arc space to KT schemes. And here we apply uh, change of variables formula to so this morphism. Then so we can say the co-dimension of cylinder in so this space uh, can be studied by the cylinder uh, in this space. So this is a key uh, ingredient for our proof. And let me explain one example here. So let uh, x be a surface defined by this equation, this cubic equation. And the red gamma be a diagonal matrix uh, with entry one, xc one, and xc square. And d equals three. Then, so, so the map defined here uh, is in this case, x1 goes to x1, and x2 goes to uh, t1 over 3 x2, and x3 goes to t2 over 3 x3. Okay. So, so this idea is, uh, in this case, is substitute xi by this uh, element. So we can get uh, this equation. So x bar, x bar gamma is defined by this equation in the four dimensional space. And if you take uh, another gamma prime, so this is diagonal matrix uh, with entry c1, c1, c2. So in this case, the equation is changed. So this, in this case, the equation is t times uh, this equation. Okay. So using so this uh, formula, so let me explain the so our first theorem. So we can describe MLD yeah, using the uh, using a quotation of the cylinders. So first, uh, so we assume so x bar is defined by one equation, f equals zero. 
Okay, so this f is the invariant equation. So, so in this case, we can write MLD by so infimum of co-dimension of some cylinder plus H gamma minus B minus delta W. And this cylinder is the form of uh, this one. Uh, cont W, A intersection, cont M, X, and uh, cont B uh, of Jacobian ID. And this cylinder is contained in uh, X bar gamma infinity. And for the proof, so we use the uh, Einstein Satyas does a formula. So in their formula, so this is equal to uh, collimation of so another cylinder uh, minus uh, some parts. And this cylinder is uh, so similar cylinder, but it's contained in x infinity. And uh, we can compare uh, these co-dimension using uh, change of variables formula. Uh, because we have a map uh, from here to here. Okay. And uh, so, okay, so I'm omit the proof detail. And uh, using this formula, uh, so we can prove so PIA for quotient singularity. So, so we proved, so the X and A is uh, defined in uh, here. So we use the same notation. And additionally, we need to suppose, so X has KLT singularity. Okay. And as I explained, the so essential inequality is, uh, so this one. So firstly, we take, we can take, so, so this MLD can be written by uh, co-dimension of some cylinder uh, plus uh, some part. And this uh, cylinder is as a form of cont W A and cont V F. So this F is defining the equation of X in this A and the uh, intersection with cont one MX. So this is a cylinder in A by infinity. And the corresponding cylinder uh, in X by gamma infinity is uh, this form. And uh, using this theorem again, so we can compare as so MLD and uh, this one. So in order to prove this inequality, so it's sufficient to compare the co-dimension of this one and the co-dimension of this one. And this can be uh, compared by Einstein Yasuda's technique. Uh, so, however, so, so in order to apply this technique, so we need to check. So, uh, this assumption. So, this cylinder intersection with uh, x by gamma infinity is not a thin set. So, this is necessary for uh, Einstein Yasuda's argument uh, work. So let me explain this fact. And in order to check so this condition, so it's sufficient to check uh, for any resolution G. So some arc in this space can lift to W infinity. So let me explain this condition is satisfied. And for this uh, condition, so we need a KLT assumption. Okay, so now I, we want to show this is not a thin set. And as usual, so we consider a trivial arc beta. So let me write it as beta. So trivial means, so, so arc in X bar is corresponds to uh, KT link homomorphism from KT X1 to Xn to KT. And trivial means, so, so data maps, so xi goes to zero. Okay. And in other words, so, so if we consider uh, the curve t, so now so we have, so 
this is uh, Eva. And consider a curve T. So this is a, so a fine line uh, through the origin. Then, so we can see that T infinity, the access, ask, ask space of T uh, consists of only one arc. So this is nothing but a beta. Okay. And this T is always contained in X bar gamma. So this is contained in X bar gamma. So it shows that the beta is always contained in X bar gamma infinity. And by similar argument as before, uh, considering uh, the action, the beta is also contained in the, this cylinder, uh, C WV gamma. So in order to check so this condition, so it's sufficient to show this trivial beta are lift to W infinity. So because W beta is always contained in uh, this set. And uh, so in order to check this, so it's sufficient to show that this curve T so always has a section to uh, the resolution W. And for this, so we need a KLT assumption. So first we assumed, so we assumed, so X is KLT. Then by the definition of, so X bar gamma, so, so this is, by definition, this is as trivial outside T equals zero. So this is a KLT outside T equals zero. So by uh, heko Makanan's result, so we can say, so this resolution has a rational chain connected fibers outside T equals zero. Then by uh, the result of uh, graver harris star, uh, this resolution has a section over any curve, in particular over T. So we have a section T shielder here, so this is isomorphic to T. So we can get a lift of beta because so combining beta and so inverse map of T from T to T shielder. So we can get the lift of beta. So this is the essential part where we used the KFT assumption. And actually, so in local canonical case, so this argument does not work. So for example, so if, so this is an example explained before. So if X is a surface defined by cubic and the gamma is a diagonal matrix, uh, with entry one C and C square. So in this case, so X bar gamma uh, is defined by uh, this equation. And uh, in this case, we can see that the arc space is, the arc space consists of one element. So this is because, so arc space by definition is, so this corresponds to uh, KT homomorphism from uh, this link to KT. Then by considering the order of T, so if it, this map is KT homomorphism, then so X should go to zero and Y should go to zero and Z also goes to zero. So it contains only trivial arc. So we can see that so X gamma infinity is always, uh, so this is, uh, this becomes a synset of itself. And uh, this is a pathological phenomenon. So that cannot happen in usual arc space theory. So I mean, in usual arc space theory, so if X is variety over K, then X infinity is not a synset of X infinity itself. But uh, this example shows that, so if we consider a variety over KT, then its arc space may be a synset of itself. And what I showed in the previous slide is, 
So if we assume the KLT assumption on this KT variety, then we can prove that so X infinity is not a thing. So this is a point of our uh, proof. Okay, so I stop here. Thank you for listening. Hey, thank you. Are there any questions, comment to shoot? Any questions? Maybe let me ask a question. Okay. Uh, so I, I was, a, I didn't quite follow last step of, uh, so you prove like a five as a rational chain connected. Yes. And then you apply graver Harris star. That's right. Yeah. But I, is it, I mean, don't you need to prove like uh, actual rationally connectedness to use grave high star? I... Uh, so in KLT case, so it's a, uh, equivalent, right? Uh, oh, I see. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. In, in characters, I think so. I think so. In I KLT see. case, they are uh, equivalent, I, I think. It's equivalent for smooth case, but I didn't know. Yes, but maybe it's uh, extend to the KLT case. I see. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, I see. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, I have one question. So does this PIA have the application to the termination? Actually, so um, I, I don't know if so there is a direct uh, application that, uh, so, so ACC and LSC has a direct application to mm -hmm. termination flip I, I, by Shokro. Mm -hmm. But uh, so PIA is not, uh, has not a direct application, but, but uh, it says, um, it's connected the MLD on ambient space to the MLD for divisor. So it might be useful. All right. All yeah, right. but I don't know the direct application actually. <laughs> okay, so any other question? All right, then if not, then rest thanks speaker again. All right, thank you very much for your talk. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, this is it. So we close bye. here. So, all right, bye. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.